In this lecture, we're going to be talking about partials. First, we're going to discuss how um, we can get a different title on each page within our website. Um, a lot of times, you not, might not want the same title to show up on each page, but we haven't taught you a way on how we can get the title to, to change on each page. Next, we're going to talk about the navigation bar and how we can turn that into a partial. Then we'll talk about individual navigation links. Now we can make a, a partial out of each one of those. A partial is basically a function that produces uh, HTML code that you can put within your page and you can repeat it. You can call the function a whole bunch of times. And it, partials are an excellent way to save you a lot of time on doing repetitive stuff, a lot of time or a lot of copying and pasting. So if you're doing a lot of copying and pasting or doing a lot of uh, remedial work where you're doing the same thing over and over again, uh, you should usually you should think about uh, and creating a partial instead. So this lecture will talk about how we can create partials and how uh, powerful they can really be. Okay, so back in the templates uh, lecture, we created this uh, this website that had several pages that all had the same look, you know, the, and and we we used templates. We inc included a header and a footer to make the pages all look the same. Um, there's still a couple of things that we'd like to learn how to do here. Um, one thing is is the title. If you notice, the title um, is the same in all of the pages, but maybe on each page we might want to include a, a different title as we click through all the pages. Um, templates isn't a really good title, but um, maybe we'll, we'll put the name of our site and then we can put the home page or the about page or the links or the resume page depending on which page we're viewing. So if we look at the, um, this is the, the home page that we see and as you see we require a header and then we require the footer and then we have all of the content right here. So if we look at the, here's the footer just so you know and you probably won't change this much. But if we look at the header right here, I'm gonna we have the title right here and we might want that to change so maybe I'm gonna call it cool site because we only create cool sites in this class but now um, right here I actually might want um, some I might actually want something else I want to might want to put the home or something like that I want it to be customized for each one so instead of just having this be a header right now. I'm gonna put this into a function. So kind of call it print header. And and we'll just put the brackets around this right here. And make sure in our PHP mode to end this. Now, um, one, one important thing to know is I don't have any extra lines down here. Um, in the future, if you have extra lines in these files right here, it actually will kind of cause problems. So I'm, I don't have any extra lines down here or any lines down here. The only actual HTML or blank lines that I would have are in, in my source code. Or not in the source code, but actually inside of the function. Um, now we could have blank lines inside of the PHP as well, but not um, any blank lines that are in the HTML mode unless they're actually inside of the function. So this line, these blank lines are okay, um, but um, when, when that's important to let you know, right now it won't uh, uh, affect you. But again, we want the title to show up here, so um, well, at least the subtitle. So I'm going to go ahead and put the subtitle right there. And now, and now we can echo the title out. So now we'll echo this subtitle out. Now, um, the one thing that we have to do is, since um, since we change this, if we look at our page. Um, all the header doesn't show up anymore. And the reason why is 
right now we require the header which defines the function but now we have to actually call it so now we just call print header and now we can include our, our, our subtitle here like the home page or home and now now it shows up and now if you notice the title of my site the subtitles in there um, so what this so what I've done with this and then by the way we'd have to we didn't have to fix all of these um, all of these files right here so we'd have to fix the about file as well so that it can print the header Now when we click on the about page, um, we get the, the title about. So home, about, links, and resume. Um, of course, we still have to fix these two pages as well. Now what this is called, is I'm calling this a partial. This isn't really in your textbook. This is a, a, another term that I, I use. And, and for a partial is basically a, a function that you create that's going to generate some HTML code and you can kind of customize it with some parameters so that it, it can change every once in a while. So the next uh, thing that I want to create with a partial might be this navigation bar. To do that, I'm going to um, create a new file. I'm going to save this as um, my site directory. I'm going to save this as functions.php. And you might already have a file named functions. Um, and again, this file, I, I don't want any blank lines except for inside of the PHP code block, but no blank lines um, in HTML mode, so it really has to end right here. Um, but in this, it's a place where I can include all my functions. I could grab my my header and I could put it in here as well. But I'm going to create a function called navbar, and I'll go ahead and. As we go along, I'll actually add a lot of uh, functions inside of this functions page. Um, but for now, what we'll do is we'll, we'll grab out all of this and we'll put it back into our functions page right there. Um, and this is more of a header navigation, so I'm going to get rid of the, the sidebar navigation. I'm just going to have it be our links right there. So now we have a function, and um, here we'll exit into our PHP mode, and we'll um, call that function, which is navbar, which is the name of our function. Now, we usually want to include the functions on all the pages, so before I do any of this, I'm going to require functions.php. So now we've required our functions page and that will define our navbar function. Um, and so now we'll call it and then we'll still get the navbar there. And now we've created basically a partial out of our navbar up here. Now the good thing about that is I can now include a variable called um, section here and maybe I want to highlight what section I'm in or somehow change based off of if I'm viewing the home page or the about page. Um, I'll just show you over here. Maybe I want the home page to, to when I'm on the home page or the about page, I want to see that I'm actually in there. So somehow I'd want to highlight that link or maybe not even make it a link at all. So um, if still need to be in PHP mode here. But 
now we can go if section equals home and then we'll do an else and now in here we'll leave PHP mode for an instant enter it in Now we get some. Okay, so now and instead of this being an href, now when we're in the home section, I'm gonna make this a span. Um, I might still want this to be a link, actually. So. We'll leave it a link, but we'll style this up. Style color red. Some way to highlight it. Um, and so now, um, now we need this section here. The problem is, is the nav bar needs this section too. Since the nav bar needs this section, so does the the header. index page when we go to print our header we'll also include this section which might be the same thing they might or might not and it's completely up to you um, so after we saved all of that and now notice the home link is now red because we know we're on the home page and I'll fix the about page as well When we click the about, notice now the home is normal color. Now we haven't done anything about this link to highlight it when we're visiting about sections. So we would want to fix do this if statement for, um, let me grab our functions page, for each one of our links. But um, unfortunately that's kind of a lot of typing. I mean. Who really wants to type this out for all the links and all the links that we might edit? So um, I, I'm going to go ahead and create another partial for each one of the links. I'm going to call this a, a nav link. And in it, I'm going to take the current section. And that's the, the section that you know people pass in here that's this section right here and then I'm gonna go ahead and get the um, link name then a link URL so now that I have those there I'm just gonna take this cut it out make sure you still have the PHP section there and I'm going to paste this in here. Um, so now, in here, I'm going to go ahead and echo out the link URL. Here, I'm going to echo out me my PHP block and here I'm going to echo out the link name and I'll copy this down here and I'll make these links blue so when we're not in the section they'll be blue and when we are in the section they'll be red okay so um, now, of course, now we're seeing if we're in the that section, but now instead I'm going to call it the link name. So if the section we're in is equal to the link name, either home or about or links or resume, um, then we'll go ahead and turn it red. If not, we'll have it blue. And now inside of here, let's get rid of all of these one at a time. So we'll go ahead and go nav link and pass 
in this section, the link name, the home, and then link URL is index.php. And we'll go ahead and create one of these for each link that we want. So now we have an about. So the idea here is now we can get rid of all of this PHP stuff. The idea here is I noticed that there's a lot of repetition that's going to happen if I'm going to create these links each at a time. So what I instead of copying and pasting or typing it out again, I decide to make a function and just generalize it. So now again, this is the current section that we're in. This is the link name. Um, so the name that we want to show up in the web page, which would be right displayed right here in the link. And this right here is the URL, so the actual address that it goes into. And now we've generalized each one of these links um, here. So we'll see how this works. Um, if all went well, we'll And it's never good when um, nothing shows up. So, um, for some reason, my my PHP isn't printing out errors. But basically, um, I don't have an ending bracket for this function up here because this thing isn't inside my PHP mode. My PHP mode ends, so I really need that to be the ending of my function. So now that we have that, let's uh, see what happened. Um, now we get a bunch of link names up there instead of that. Um, I think we want to put, that's because we want to put a dollar sign link name right here and a dollar sign link name right there. But now we get home about links and resume. Um, so our hope was that when we're in the home, or the about that we get a different link name. Uh, let me view the page source. And notice our link URL are all, all of them are blank, so something's not working with that. So that's a good um, thing to look at. A lot of times you look at your source and you're trying to figure out what happened to the output. So that's another thing that you want to. So now I'm looking here and I'm looking, well how come that's not printing out? Well, because I forgot my echo statement right there. So now with the echo statement, let's see what happens. Now, at least now we're going to the different pages. I still have to fix the links and the resume page. But now we have that. So let's, um, I'll go ahead and I'll open up the links page. Um, right here and um, we need to print our header this is in the links section All right, we want the links to as a subtitle and the section that we're in is links okay so now when we're in the links page we get that so our hope was that these were would turn red, but they're they're not. So let's uh, try to do a little bit of debugging here. Um, now we have if the section is equal to the link name right there. Well, how come we're not doing that? Well, it's kind of this is kind of working backwards. So how come we're not? How come we're doing the blue and not the red? So let's go ahead and echo out these two. Um, so echo. section so we'll print out this section we'll put a little colon between it and then we'll print out the link name right there and then we'll print out that 
okay. So now that I I have that, now I can maybe do a little bit of investigative work. So we have the colon and the link name, but if you notice that there's nothing printing out for this section right here as, I, as I'm trying to print that this debug information out. Um, so now I need to analyze this variable section. Well, that comes from here. So if we're supposed to be current section, not section. So let's see what happens if we put that as our current section. And now links is highlighted, about is highlighted, home is highlighted. So now that appears to be working. So I'm going to fix the resume page. Um, and I'll walk, after I fix it, we'll walk you through it and show you how, how all of this is happening, how I'm able to highlight each one of these sections. So let me open up the resume page right there. Um, and instead of this, where well, we require the header, now we require, now we need to print the header in my resume page and this section is resume and this might seem a little repetitive but I might have um, I might be in the resume section of my website but the title the subtitle might be something else so um, maybe I have a, a link within that which is a short resume or my education or a section so this might be really education is the name of the page and resume is the link that I want to get highlighted when I'm on the education section. So now when I click resume, if you notice the title appears as education, but the, the link name says resume. So on each individual page, when I go to print the header, I decide which link I want to highlight. That's the section. And I also decide what my subtitle is. So then, um, then when I call this print header function, I get the subtitle that gets printed out here, and then the section that's going to get passed into my navigation bar function. And then as I pull out my functions page, my functions page and the nav bar, it gets the section. It passes the section into each one of these nav links. Now each one of these individually is in charge of creating one link on the page. Um, so I'm going to create, and the link, this here is the, the title, um, it, it's also the, the section that if, if you want this link highlighted, that's the section that you're supposed to send in as the, as the thing, and this is the URL. So if we look at this, if we're in the home section, whatever the current section is, if, if we're doing the home link, if, the, if it's home, and the name match up, then we're going to style it red and print out the link name. If not, then we're going to style it blue and, and make the link the same way. But we can change what style it is based off of what the section we wanted to highlight when we on the page that we created. So now it's really easy to create new links. Um, all we have to do is call this one more time and maybe this is uh, projects and projects.php and now right there now we have another link on all of our pages that shows up I don't have a projects PHP page but I can easily create one include the header include the footer but now I just have to call print header and tell it to highlight the projects link in my nav bar. So that's partials. And the idea that I really want you to get you out, you to get out of this lecture is that you can make things really um, easy on yourself. You really shouldn't be copying and pasting code. I, I could have been tempted to copy and paste this each time for each link that I wanted. But I realized that, you know, that if I wanted to change it or if it was broken, I mean, imagine if I had to ch add in this echo thing five times and change this five times. Um, it really could have um, gotten to be really big. 
So now I generalized this and I just made a navlink function that kind of generates a unique custom part of my code. And that's what I, the term that I call partials. And there's lots of places where you can use this. Um, one student uh, that um, took this class, he decided he was using a, a select box on a web page. It has a pull down menu with a whole bunch of options. For each option, he created he created one function to produce all of the options. All he had to do was call that call that function, and it produced the option, and it decided whether that option was going to be the selected one or not. So there's lots of instances where you can use these partials. And the last thing I want to show you is how really simple this this home page is. If you notice, it's really all about the content. We just have this little sort short section up here that you know we print the header and then we just have this section down here where we print um, the footer but everything else in this page is going to be all about the content and we've achieved that through requiring through the templates and also through these partials we've made this page really simple and easy to edit and understand and that's the goal of uh, this, is so that you can add more and more PHP pages. You can be really efficient and really focused on what kind of what your content is or what you need to add within that single page. And you're not worried about the title, the header, or how, how the navigation bar is going to work and, and fixing all of that. All of that should just work um, and you should just be focusing on your page. So as we edit for to edit the content in here, that's really what we can focus on and that's another great reason why we're using partials and templates. It's saving us a lot of time and it's simplifying the tasks that we have to do.